Today I'd like to show you a new ultrasonic level transmitter. It's very cost effective and very simple to calibrate. The unit is completely made of PVC. It's a NEMA 4 housing. We have process connection sizes that range everywhere from 1 inch NPT up to 3 inches NPT. The maximum range for this unit is 60 feet on the 3 inch NPT model. The way an ultrasonic unit works is we have a crystal behind the transducer face that's excited by a pulse of electricity. The sound wave goes down to the fluid level and then is reflected back. We measure the transit time and convert that into a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Because the speed of sound changes with temperature, the transducer has built-in temperature sensor that compensates for the air temperature in the tank, making for a more accurate reading. Our technology locks on to the echo that's farthest away from the transducer, which will always be the fluid level. This allows the unit to ignore peripheral obstructions that may be caused if you have to mount the unit too close to the vessel wall or if there's ladders or piping. Anything that's not directly in front of the transducer face will be ignored. This unit is super simple to calibrate. All you need to calibrate it is your eyeball and your finger. Even a child could do it, although they quickly lose interest. You'll notice that we have a green LED, and right next to that is a push button. To set the 20 milliamps, which is far away, I'll move it far away from the wall behind me, push the button, and observe the green LED turns yellow. I let go, it'll flash once to acknowledge that it's locked in the 20 milliamp calibration. Now to set the 4 milliamp, we have to go in closer to the wall or we would raise the fluid level in the tank. Again, we start with the green LED, which means everything is fine. I'll push the button and it'll turn yellow. Then we have to be patient here. Wait until it turns red. There it goes. As soon as I let go, the yellow LED flashes once to acknowledge that the 4 milliamp has been locked in. Now the unit's calibrated. This is a non-volatile memory. It will save those readings so you can power it up on the bench, calibrate it, turn it off, and then put it in the tank, and we do that all without batteries. This unit is a very good value because it has an automatic gain control. What that means is that as the echo becomes weaker and weaker, the signal to the transducer automatically increases, increasing the power until it sees a good echo coming back. This is also helpful if you have condensation on the face of the transducer. We've set this unit calibrated so it's seeing the ceiling, and when I have water droplets on the face of the transducer, it still works just fine. In fact, it won't change the output a single bit with this much water trapped on the face of the transducer. These units are available in a four-wire AC-powered version, a three-wire DC-powered version. We also have a loop-powered two-wire version. Thank you very much.